Thank you. From your local election headquarters this morning, voters in Yukon headed to the polls. They're going to determine the fate of a school bond project. It's a big one, $194 million over 10 years for projects at Yukon Public Schools. Jacqueline Chapel joins us now live in Yukon with the details on this latest bond issue. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Ali Kent. Obviously a very expensive project here, but there are two different proposals involved in this school bond issue. And we're also told by the district that it won't raise taxes in the area if it is, of course, voted in. Now, proposal one includes new, a new performing arts center and college and career center and elementary school and playground renovations, high school commons expansion and indoor activity center and technology curriculum fine arts improvements. Funds will also be used for maintenance and upkeep of the district. Proposal 2 will ask voters to approve a bond for transportation improvements. Both proposals will cost over $194 million, but we're told it will not increase taxes in the area. A statement on the Yukon Public Schools district website says in part, school bonds funds allow us to go above and beyond what we can provide if we relied solely upon state and federal funding. As a district, we will responsibly use these funds to improve our facilities across the board and provide safe and efficient transportation, educational software, classroom and individual technology, resources for the fine arts programs, security and much more. Now, we're also told in the last 10 years that enrollment in Yukon Public Schools has increased by nearly 2,000 students. So obviously a lot of growth in this area. We'll bring you all the latest updates on how this school bond issue goes later on today on News 4. Allie Kent.